Welcome to Statics. Scalars and Vectors Let's focus for a minute on the difference between scalars and vectors. You've been working with scalars all your life. In the math classes that you have taken up to this point, generally speaking, the focus was manipulating positive or negative numbers. From a statics perspective, it's important to understand that scalar values have only magnitude and no other information. That is the biggest difference between scalars and vectors. Vectors really have two values that we are concerned with, magnitude and direction. Let's focus on vectors a little more. One of the key things to understand about vectors is that there are two quantities involved. There's a magnitude and there's a direction. Often, vectors are represented graphically on a screen or on a sheet of paper as an arrow. The length of that arrow is a representation of the magnitude. The orientation of the arrow relative to some datum, such as an axis in a coordinate system, is the vector's direction. A vector arrow has a head and a tail to clarify orientation. Obviously, an arrow directed up and to the right is not the same as one directed down and to the left. The following example is helpful in visualizing vectors. Suppose you are a major league pitcher. When that ball leaves your hand, you want it traveling at a certain velocity. The velocity is the magnitude portion of the vector. However, you also want the ball to be traveling in a certain direction so that it ends inside the strike zone. That would be your direction portion of the vector. Engineers often deal with understanding and manipulating forces on objects. A force is a vector quantity. It has a magnitude and also direction. We don't necessarily use regular mathematics when we are evaluating and manipulating vectors. Vector mathematics will be discussed in following videos. Let's summarize and solidify our understanding of scalars and vectors with this final exercise. Which of the following quantities are scalars and which are vectors? First, a volume. A volume is a scalar because we are simply talking about length quantities cubed. No direction is implied. A velocity? Velocity is a vector. Not only is the magnitude important, but also the direction. It would make a difference whether I'm headed east or west on the freeway, for instance. Mass is a scalar. Length is a scalar quantity. Force is a vector quantity. Consider this question. Does it make a difference when playing tug-of-war, whether I'm pushing or pulling? A moment is a vector. Think of a moment as a torque or a rotation. Does it make a difference if I am trying to change a tire, whether I turn the lug wrench clockwise or counterclockwise? 